Hello, I'm Infinity Crusher, and in this video, we are going to be comparing two mods, which are basically the same thing. These mods, which I've got here, are the new TARDIS mod and the Dalek mod. And okay, sheep. Um, now I'm comparing them mainly on the TARDISes, um, and stuff like that. Um. So let's get into the review, I guess. So we're going to be reviewing the new TARDIS mod, um, and I'm going to be giving my thoughts about it, and then I go and at, at the end, going to give my thoughts of which one I think is overall better. So in the mod, just like in the Dalek mod, um, you get sonic screwdrivers, but I do think the models are a bit off. I'm going to put them both in my hands. So yeah. Um and it has different modes. Block interactions, which interacts with blocks. It's in the name. Um it has entity interact, which interacts with entities. For example, sharing a sheep. Um, and it has single TARDIS. I do not know what this does. I um, will look on the wiki for the mod, but I don't know. Just, just <laughs> I don't know. Um, but the but the sonic screwdriver. Oh wait, I just realised. If I get an iron door, I was thinking about that just now with this sonic screwdriver being able to open it so if I set it to block interactions then ha that's something it does um so yeah but this extends because it's a tenth doctor's sonic screwdriver um and and these are just one pair of sonics you can get a lot more sonics all right so in the Dalek mod, you need a TARDIS key to summon your TARDIS, lock your TARDIS, and unlock your TARDIS. Or you can use a Statenheim remote. But in the um, in the new TARDIS mod, you need a TARDIS key to open and close your TARDIS doors, and you need a Statenheim remote to summon your TARDIS. Um, and as far as I know, no, you can't summon your TARDIS with... Um, you can't summon your TARDIS with the TARDIS key. I'm clicking. I'm genuinely clicking and, I, and it just doesn't work. Um, like you can see in the webcam. I'm clicking. Doesn't work. Um, in terms of clothing. Um... In terms of clothing, we uh let's get to fezes. So in the Dalek mod, this is what a fez looks like. Very, very, very big. Um and this is what a fez looks like in the new TARDIS mod. Much more bright, I will say that. Um, it's a lot smaller, it feels a bit wider, um, so yeah, um, and of course there's bow ties. Um, alright, so shall we move on to the TARDISes? Seemed like a good idea, because that's the entire title of this mod. I've even got a Lego TARDIS. Um, so, uh, for the Dalek mod TARDIS, We've got Boaty and Soto. We've got a lot of interior doors. Um, we've got these, ra a lot of roundels, a lot of floors, and the console. And if we um, go into this tab, then we'll find that the main bits of console, like controls, are door controls, lock controls. The most important one is probably the handbrake and the monitor. Um, you have your sonic chargers, you have your um, like flight thing, 
thing. Um, force field generator, uh, pretty basic, I would have to say. Um, but I've heard that they are definitely that they are going to improve that. So that's really good. So yeah, we just have some basic controls, and we can set our destination and plot waypoints and chameleon circuit and a bunch of settings here um and sorry for the lag the very bad lag it, we have soto as well um and animations for doors um all right so for the new tardis mod tardis um you open it with a tardis key and then it says tardis unlocked then you go inside obviously and you have and for this tardis interior anyway you have to close this door and this door um it's for decorational purposes this door this door doesn't actually let you leave um uh, but in here what we have is um, a exit to corridors. If you jump out here, you will die. So don't do it in survival mode. Only do it in creative mode where you can fly. Especially in survival mode if you lose your stuff when you die. And you've got a lot of important stuff on you. Alright, so in here we have a monitor, which is up here. And on the monitor you can t toggle a force field you can toggle stealth mode you can change the interior and there's a variety of interiors um, these are all different interiors I've already played with this not that and that um, and just so you know you can't ha ha firstly if you put something in an interior like say I placed down a bunch of blocks then I changed the interior then when I came back to uh, then I, I changed the interior back when I um, hey, come back everything's reset those blocks that I placed are gone and if you're wanting to get tons upon tons of free resources I guess you could say that's good because if it resets every time then you can just farm stuff very very easily just the only bad thing is the time wasted and the amount of diamond pickaxes you're going to use up um you can toggle the hum and you can toggle waypoints i've got one waypoint set so you can have 15 at most you can change the console so my console right here is the hellbent console i think um but you can change it um the subsystem readout tells you all of the durabilities of the controls and yes that's right durabilities every single control has a durability now in this mod so we have stabilizers um they um, make it, they make your um flight automatic so y your tardis doesn't explode um, you have your temporal grace circuits, no idea what that does. You have your fluid links, no idea what that does either. Your thermo couplings, also don't know what that does. Dimensional dams, that lets you toggle the dimension you want to go to. Um, the chameleon circuit, that is also in the Dalek mod, which lets you change what your TARDIS looks like on the outside. Um, you have your flight system which is actually like the handbrake and the flying um, and you have your interstitial antenna which detects Dalek raids on villages and then um, and then it will set um, the destination and then you can just hop over there and sort that out and whatever and also this TARDIS has Artron e Artron energy, and currently I'm on 158 units. Um, I found that 
my TARDIS when I'm flying it uses up one um, <laughs> one unit per second so say I've got 40 units and I'm going on a hundred second journey um, I get that you can get that with the automatic one uh, with the automatic flight setting um, I'm going to end up running out of Artron energy which means that my TARDIS can crash which is bad so you always want to make sure that your TARDIS has enough energy there we go that's the button you want to make sure that your TARDIS has enough Artron energy to make a flight so I'm currently refueling it um, as you can see there and I can no longer fuel it and it makes such strange noises <laughs> alright if you want to know what the controls do you can use this which is a TARDIS manual well they're too lazy to write it instead you just hover your mouse over the controls oh wait hmm you just hover your mouse over the controls that's useful so we have our communicator up here there you go and basically when a Dalek raid happens this make, makes a, a noise uh, I don't know what noise but um, a noise um, and you push it to set the destination and stop the noise and stuff then yeah you can go there and blah 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 do that um, you have your telepathic circuit which is part of, like the <laughs> you can travel to different biomes and structures which I think is kind of uh, just a tiny bit overpowered um you can go to um <laughs> biomes from different um dimensions even from dimensions in for example galactocraft or my mod yes i do have a mod um i have three actually um so yeah i um the mods I have for that are that way with dimensions are Dalek mod, Galacticraft, and Extra Planets. I think those are three dimension mods that I have. I don't have any of my mods <laughs> loaded. Um, we have the um, we have the door switch which does what it says, and you want to make sure this is all closed before um, you want to make sure all of this is closed before you make a flight because if the door happens to be open and you dematerialize then you'll get sucked out left at where you entered the TARDIS and the TARDIS will just fly away which is why you want to make sure you always have a Statenheim remote um, my TARDIS did fly away on me once when I was testing it out um, we have your coordinate randomizer, which randomizes the coordinates. I know, so big brain, um, so big brain, big brain naming, so complicated. We have our waypoint selector, which selects your waypoints. You have up to fifteen waypoints, and I have a waypoint at a village. Um, we, are, we have another communicator. Wait. Oh. Oh, I was looking at. Oh, huh. So I was looking at these communicators. This is the stabilizer. I'm gonna turn the stabilizers off for. Yeah, we have our dimensional control uh, control where you right click for um different bio uh, different dimensions, and you um shift right click to go back basically makes a very nice noise um, so then we have a landing type selector so if you want your TARDIS to search downwards for a landing spot or upwards um, we have our fast return which returns your TARDIS to the last place it was at that's the refueler where's the Where's the team? Oh, there we go. That that's the time rotor handbrake. That's like that's your handbrake. If I get 
that is this this so I've got it turned off got a, f a good amount of Arctron energy and um, oh yeah you also have your t directional control and uh, your um, space control so yeah I'm gonna <laughs> mess around with that um, Alright, I'm going to try and fly away. I am going to try and fly to... Wait. Uh, just a second. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to use a coordinate randomizer and the dimensional control to oh we can go to the TARDIS dimension from the Dalek mod I am going to go to I'm going to go to Telos from the um, new TARDIS mod um, so we got the dimension and the coordinate set we, our target dimension is Telos the destination is need to change that um um the destination is at one minus one hundred and eighty sixty four eight ninety nine um and yeah I hope nothing goes wrong it probably will because yeah um so you get a shaking effect that's not me um and Fuel over pressurized. Um, um. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh. This is going really badly. <laughs> What? Dimensional drift. Dimensional drift. Um. Coordinate slip Y. <laughs> Angular momentum overload. Angular momentum overload. Um, we're doing quite well. I just jinxed that, haven't I? Fuel over pressurize. We need to refuel. Oh, we've still got a minute. Coordinate slip Z. Angular momentum overload. Need to learn where all this stuff is. Coordinate slip X. Angular momentum overload. So we need to press the directional control. Dimensional drift. Is that the right button? No. Fuel overpressurized. That's the dimensional control. Sorry about that. Coordinate slip X. No. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Notifications, can you stop? Angular momentum overload. There we go. Dimensional control needed. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. We need to use a refueler. 
Um, dimensional drift. Um, we need this. I find these are the most common mistakes that happen with the TARDIS. Oh, we have 20 seconds left. All right. I, are you going to make another problem? Corner slip Y. All right. And we've rematerialized. We've landed. So that's a bug. Oh wait. Oh oh. <laughs> Sometimes I found that the TARDIS likes to dematerialize when you leave. Immediately when you leave, it likes to just disappear. Um, so, yeah, now we're on Telos. Um, kind of a bit. Hmm. Alright. Because it's uh, much shorter, I'm going to use the Dalek mod TARDIS to get back. So, see you in a bit. See you in a bit, little TARDIS thing. Dalek, not Dalek mod, um, TARDIS mod, TARDIS. So we're going to go inside this TARDIS and we are going to set the destination. Hopefully that, that's the handbrake, so we're going to dematerialize. And this is the Dalek mod dematerialization. Oh no, dimensional drift. <laughs> that did a lot of damage. <laughs> that did bad damage um so yeah we're going to leave excuse me can you there we go that is not the place thank you anyway TARDIS um I have no idea where this is um so yeah with the Satenheim remote you set the destination and then it says it's arriving in a lot of waiting a lot of waiting five four three two one and there we go it's rematerializing now wow 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 um so yeah those were the two TARDISes I in this video I am not going to be covering all this stuff I think the video is already long enough actually that's not actually that much pretty much covered it all. If you want me to do more um, TARDIS mod then uh, let me know like like or something. I don't even know. Um, oh yeah by the way if you want a TARDIS from this from the TARDIS mod then you're going to need this TARDIS coral which is made by this you need planks of any kind and then redstone blocks around the end and you need a TARDIS key which is crafted um, by an eye vendor and an, iron I and an iron ingot and then yeah you take your TARDIS coral place it down and then wait and I'm not waiting that long basically you get this um, Alright, so, 
my thoughts. I think I I know my whole channel is basically based around it, but I still have to go with the Dalek mod because it has the advantage of time. Yeah. TARDIS is a time machine. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it has the advantage of time. It has it. Um, it's been worked on for years, like absolutely years. So we've got tons of tabs. We've got clothing, food, TARDIS blocks, blocks, decorations, misc. There's nothing in there though. Seasonal mobs, items, weapons, gad gadgets, um, TARDISes. There's a, a like a billion TARDISes here. Um, and in this mod we have in the new TARDIS mod we have three stuff things things stuff um we have items which has the sonic screwdrivers uh, well i do have to give it to this mod pairing some sonic screwdrivers that the dalek mod doesn't for example the um sixth doctor's sonic lance that's not a screwdriver well technically none of these are um we have the first Doctor's cane for some reason. Um, we do have Bessie, and you can repair your um, TARDIS parts with a TARDIS toolkit. So you won't tell me the recipe. Um, I don't know how to acquire it. Um, so yeah, you'll need to look on the wiki. Um, has strange blocks, Gallifrey and blocks, strange stone, strange dirt, strange gar uh, grass, and tile dot tardis dot Gallifrey and underscore sand dot name. I'm not saying that every time. I'm just going to say red sand because it's got the exact same texture as red sand. I looked. Um, and we have TARDIS mod blocks. There's no actual TARDISes here. Um, unlike this. Um, there's no TARDISes. There's just TARDIS blocks. As the name says. Um, but we do have some interesting stuff. For example, round... Round... We already have round... We don't have a the mod doesn't have a Toyota interior, which is kind of confusing. Thing um, we have the Toyota spinny thingamajig. Um, pretty sure that has a name. Toyota spin. Uh, <laughs> um, but there is one feature in this mod, which is absolutely godly, legendary. If you've been playing Minecraft for a long time, you will know what this is, and you will know what I mean of why this is so amazing. Look, I just built an A. Very small. Very compact. Small and compact are the exact same words. 2 by 2 area. Pretty much. Um, so, yeah. That's amazing. I love this mod for that. <laughs> um, but we do have um, the hellbent ceiling thing. The mysterious suitcase. <laughs> um, we have we have this. The Oz tree egg. I just realized what that might sound like. Um, and from this, I think you need to use it in here. So... I'm going to walk into the sun. Um, close the doors because, yeah, um, it gives you blocks. It just gave me a stack of Toyota blocks, but it only gives me one. Give me one. Um, ah, the lag. Um. Whoa. 
weren't supposed to take off. Did you take off? How is it night? Alright. Um. So. Yeah, we have Archon Banks. Don't know how those works. Don't know the, how that works. Don't know how a lot of this stuff works. Um. So, yeah. Despite all these amazing features, this being the best, um. I still have to give it to the Dark Mod. Like I said before, has time, has a lot more items has like a trillion more mobs yeah infinite infinity not crusher amount of daleks um it has loads of variants i do want more variants of the weeping angels swd if you hear me i want more weeping angel variants please um so yeah i do have to prefer I do have to go with the Dalek mod. Um but that's the video I guess that's the review. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. So yeah, bye.